Hello, hello, hello. I'm the Painter Dog, and welcome back to another episode of Capella's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts. I hope you're having a lovely day. My day is actually quite good. Now, uh, as you can see now, I have a 7mm mag bolt action rifle. I did a couple of open hunts off screen just to get a couple of gear credits, and then I bought this. This is my go to gun usually in this game. I haven't bought the, the polymer tips yet because we have 15,000 gear credits and we only have 14,000. But today I think let's go and complete at least one of these two deer hunts. Hunt free white deer with a rifle and hunt free 8 point plus white deer with a, with a with it didn't specify with a rifle, but minimum gives a four times rifle scope, so it's probably a rifle. Because this wild boar, we need to hunt three wild boars with a shotgun. My shotgun is also 15,000 gear credits, so I think let's complete this one and this one, and then we can look at completing that one. So let's go for this one, the Omnitrium Perfectum. And as usual, as soon as the game loads in, we stand still and listen. Okay, there's a couple of deer in that direction, which is great because the wind is in our favor. We need to hunt, take a look at this, three white old deer. For this, only the males count. You need to remember that. Tag you, and we are going to go for you. You know what? Let's tag you and go for you now. Sensitivity on my mouse. You see, now I can get better shots, hopefully. Double lung shot. Excellent shot placement. Because I don't Won't have to far. do straight up broadside shots. Too much hunting here recently. You should try your luck somewhere else. Let this spot cool down. That's the first one. And basically the first minute of play. I like it. I like it. Let's quickly claim this guy. Two more trophies needed to complete this hunt. Okay. So, uh, how, how's your day going? My day today is actually okay. Yesterday wasn't that great. I'm busy with complete or completing the paperwork for the renewal of my competency certificate for my mother loading firearms. Now, if you're not familiar in South Africa, that's a headache to do the competency renewals and license renewals and everything like that. Now this works in South Africa at this stage for muzzle loading firearms you don't need a license but you do need to complete the competency at an accredited facility and then you have to apply for competency through the police service. Let's get to the water. And after that you need uh, to apply for a permit, explosive permit, to be able to buy the black powder in a one kilogram, basically that's the maximum that you can buy, one kilogram and a thousand percussion caps or primers for a specific rifle. But now there's requirements on the our police service website, there's requirements for competency renewal, but when you get your detonated firearms officer, they have their own the own requirements that you have to fulfill, fulfill. And it's actually, it's not supposed to be like that. So you, we laid a complaint about that as well. And that's what we have to do. If they are making up their own rules, then that's not the way it's supposed to be. There's rules according to the, the department, the ministry for this, and then they want to make up their own rules. I don't like laying complaint because Overall, the most of them are quite 
Okay, I found. It's really a thankless job, but the majority of them are actually quite good at their jobs. And they, they go out of your their way to help you, but if you don't be a hard hat, that's an Afrikaans word. You don't, you're not stubborn. They usually tend to help you. But this one, I have a couple of couple of firearms and uh, I've licensed them all, we went through all the rigmarole for that because everyone needs a license, you need to motivate every license and it's a headache, just plain it. Now they have an issue with one of them. One of my certificates they have an issue. They can go and check the validity of it. But now they have an issue with it. It's the first time I actually need to go to this new designated firearms officer or DFO in short. But the previous ones in three different provinces, they had no issues with it. They checked the validity. Okay, it's great. There you go. But now this one has an issue. So yeah. I was there yesterday, during a pandemic. They have you sitting in lines there. There's no online way to apply or do the paperwork. And this one wants you to complete the paperwork in the office. There's no completing the paperwork at home and then just going in to finalize the paperwork. This DFO wants you to stand there and fill in everything before them. So I was there for a couple of hours. Yesterday I was grumpy because yes, I'm working from home at this stage, but uh, yeah, it's not fun to have to stand there and wait in line and fill in the. But you can't even fill the paperwork in while you're waiting in line. They are hard to like that. Just want you to get fed up and leave it. Flat-footed if you're suddenly upwind of the animals. That's a risky shot. But we still get a double long shot. Double long shot. Excellent shot placement. Won't go far. But as you saw there, the the point of impact on this rifle is a lot smaller than the 270. Looks like all the game has been spooked around here. Time to move on. Which is actually great. So I could risk shots like that. The 270, I wouldn't risk that in this game. Alright, let's pick up a black trail and go and collect our trophy. couple of gears in that direction. Okay, I see a female. Another female. I don't think there's a male in this herd. seen some sound markers in this direction as well. I reckon this area is all hunted out for the day. The animals are cleared out. I actually didn't want to spook them, but I didn't really want to take a shot at them as well because they don't count towards our objective. Almost there. One trophy left to complete the hunt. Now this guy didn't run too far. As you can see on the ad, still marked at the top. So that's not too shabby. Probably the same. It's the wind's not in our favor, but let's quickly have a look here. 
maybe there's a male in this herd. A buck in this herd, so we can take a shot. But I do, I'm too, there's two at least to found warnings. But I believe this is the, the those. The wind is definitely not in our favor. Shot placement won't go far. Okay, so there was a, a buck in that herd. Let's quickly collect. And that's the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheerio.